We have a proton moving at 3 times 10 to the 4 meters per second, and it's then accelerated through a potential difference of minus 200 volts. And we want to know what the final velocity is. So this part here, you'll see a, uh, that expression a lot on tests and quizzes. You have to recognize that as soon as it says accelerated through a potential difference or by a potential difference, they're talking about this equation. Voltage or your change in voltage is change in potential energy per unit charge. So if I want to find EP or my change in energy as it passes through 200 volts, I simply go delta V times Q. So in this case, I've got negative 200 and my charge is the charge of a proton, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And when I work that through, I get 3.2 times 10 to the negative 17. Now, technically, uh, I work it through and I get a negative sign. Now, this is where it gets maybe a bit confusing. So here's what I prefer to do. I imagine all of this accelerated through the, a potential difference as either gaining 3.2 times 10 to the negative 17 joules or losing 3.2 times 10 to the negative 17. And the way you can imagine it, you can imagine it as a set of parallel plates. So imagine my proton is initially moving to the right and it's got some sort of kinetic energy. Definitely got an initial kinetic energy. The question is, is it going to speed up or slow down? Well, if you imagine a series of parallel plates that it has to pass through, so it goes through this little gap like this, and then it passes through these parallel plates. And on the far plate, is negative 200 volts and the initial one might be zero. Because this electron is positive, as soon as it crosses that little threshold, it's going to start to accelerate. It's going to start to speed up as it crosses the gap. So it's going to gain 3.2 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. So I don't really worry about the negative, I worry about what's happening with the plates. The electron starts with kinetic energy, because the plates are negative, it's going to speed up because it's getting sucked towards the negative plate. It's going to gain that additional energy. So my final kinetic energy when it leaves this gap is going to be larger. And we want to determine that final velocity. So I started with kinetic energy. I gained some potential. And that's because it's accelerated through a potential difference, and I end with a final kinetic energy. So I simply plug in my equations. One half mass of the proton times V initial squared plus, now we're not going to worry about the negative anymore. We know it's gaining energy. I don't want to put negative in there because that means I'm losing energy. 3.2 times 10 to the negative 17 joules equals EK final. Like that. Now, if I put my values in, mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. My initial velocity is 3 times 10 to the 4. I've got to make sure I square that. Plus 3.2 times 10 to the negative 17 equals 1 half mass of the proton times V final squared. And I work all that through, solve for V final, and I get 2.0 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. It's moving faster because it's getting accelerated by that negative plate.